Danny Fortz with the rejection free formula no calling no chasing no convincing and in this video I'm going to show you how to make cool text effects with Pixlr I know when I first got started I always wondered how to, to even do it and I became frustrated even learning it so that's why I'm creating this video so um, so what you're gonna do is you go to pixlr.com and you're gonna to go to the editor and you can we're gonna create a new image so I'm gonna click right here um, let's say we're gonna make up something like banner width so depending on what size your banner is um, but I'm just gonna go with something um, 600 by 400 that's not really a banner size but um, let's actually do 800 by 250 let's do that and I'm gonna do this uh, YouTube um, YouTube lead generation so I'm gonna do that all right so that's about that would be about like banner width right there um, so one of the things you you want to do is consider the color that you're gonna have because um, if you're gonna do it you know let's uh, this one this sentence will even make sense at the end but you want to go with your lightest color of whatever multiple colors you're gonna be using um, and so just keep that in mind um, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my type tool and I'm going to type five here and I'm gonna make this really big as big as I can make it and I'll show you why in a second um, and I'm gonna change this to a engravers I would also take notes of the fonts that you like because you know I mean sometimes you could literally spend a lot of time going through fonts and if you just knew the names of them which is not gonna happen overnight that's for sure and they I noticed recently they keep adding adding some so it's it's really cool that they're doing that so I'm gonna change this to white so there's there's white I know it's hard to see right now but I'll you'll you'll fi we'll fix that shortly um, so then I'm gonna write um, lead gen Agent secrets. Let's go something like this. And if you want to make sure you got, you just count from the end here. Yeah, it doesn't. That's the only thing I wish they did has both lines to tell you exactly if you're lined up or not, like in Google Docs or. Um, I don't use Photoshop, so, um, so yeah, let's let's go back and change this to white as well. Just while we get our line, get everything lined up here, and um, I have a YouTube logo I'm going to use, or just part of it. Um, I'm not going to use the whole YouTube logo. There we go. Yeah, so this is YouTube's trademark, but I'm just going to use the tube part. And I might even cover that up and do it a different way. I don't know. So I copy. So that was actually, let me go back to that so I show you what I did here. Um, what you do is you take this tool right here, okay, this one, um, and you just click and drag. And then you can actually you can actually move this around too. I don't know if you knew that. Um, so you want to line it up with whatever you want to copy, and then you hit Command C, and that copies. And then you go over to your banner, and you put Command V. Well, I'm on a Mac, so I don't know what that would be for um, uh, Windows users. So so five tube. Okay, and I'm going to move this 5 over here a little. 5 tube legion secrets. Okay, so that's 
that's that. Now, um, to put a, a text effect on here, or uh, an effect, let's go down to here. What we're going to do is we're going to get our um, wand, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to... Oh, actually, see how it's it's saying I can't right now? It's saying you can't do anything? What you have to do is you have to go here to hit layer, and then you have to do what's called the rasterize the layer. I don't know what that even means. Um, when I was initially trying to figure out how to do this stuff, I only the, some of the forums said you just have to put rasterize layer, but it didn't give you the rest of the directions on what to do. So what you do now is you take your wand tool, and now you can actually use it. You can see it. And what you're going to do is you're going to press shift and see how it made a plus. So that's the plus right there. And what you do is you can do them all individually, but I wouldn't do it that way because then you have to literally eye everything. Um, so what you do is you hold shift. You're going to hold this down the whole time. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on every single letter that you want to apply an effect to. Pretty simple. And then you get the, the moving ants type thing. Whoops, this one didn't, whoops. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. See, that's not what I wanted to do right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I got to start over. Matter of fact, here's what, actually, let's do this. I'm going to take this off because I realized I should have made the, the, the text a little bit bigger to do what I'm doing. And then I can always shrink it down. You, you can always go bigger, you can't go smaller. Generation. But then again, I may not have the ability to, or lead. Let's just make it a little bigger, and then we can shrink it down later. I'm going to try to get as much as this window as possible. Okay, so, all right. So I got to change this to white. Try to speed this up, guys. Sorry about that. All right, so, now what did I do? This needs to be white. Okay. So now, again, uh, let's go to layer, rasterize. And we're going to hit the wand tool, shift, and here we go. It's not grabbing the other side of that. Okay. So now you got your ants, your moving ants. What you do is you can go over here to this um, gradient tool. And you've seen me use this before in some of my other tutorials. So um, what you can do is you can just, whatever color that you want to use for this. Um, I want to use more of a gray instead of black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. And here's like the gray. That's like a decent color gray. And there we go. Something like that. Okay. And then what you do is you simply just, you know, you drag, you click and drag, and you can see that line. You see this line right here? Okay. Um, that line, you just kind of, kind of eyeball it. Okay. But I want it going in the opposite direction. I want it to be dark up top and uh, uh, light on the bottom. So I'm going to hit edit, undo. And then I know to go the opposite way. Okay. So like that. You can change the length by, you know, not doing as much as you did or going even further of what you did like that. I don't know if you just saw that, but that's pretty much it. Um, so then I'm going to do the same thing to the five. So we're going to sit there. I get first, I have to rasterize the layer. And then I can go shift, click on the five, go get my uh, gradient tool. And that's, I need a little more than that. 
Yeah, okay. So that's that. Now I can put a border around it if uh, I want. So let's say you want it to be red a little bit better. You can do an outer glow. Now I can do the the dark of the color that I use, or I can even use like a, a, a real darker color, which I could use black if I wanted to. Um, but you can see just using some sort of semblance of the same color but a darker version will um, make it pop up. Whoops, that's not right. It's this one. Whoops. Whenever you mess up and do something like that, if you just hit undo, you can you can pretty much save your stuff. But I don't know why. Okay, that's the layer I need. Okay, now I'm getting aggravated. That is the layer I need. I'm highlighted on it. I should be able to just click here. And Oh, I know why, because I already rasterized the layer. Duh. Okay, so because I have this layer picked right here, all I have to do is go over here, and hit, and then this will come up. That's That was the problem, sorry. I'm so used to doing it the other way. Um, so again, you can pick any grayish type border. I think that's the one I had. Okay, and you can see you can see it a little bit better. You can change it to black. Let me let me just give an example. So I could change this to black if I wanted to. And you can see that right there. And then you can soften the hardness or whatever 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 floats your boat. But I'm going to make this uh, for this particular one, I'm gonna make it gray. Okay, so you can also add a drop shadow. Okay, same thing with the five, I can go back to that and just add a drop shadow. Why is it? Oh, because that says layer 5, not 5. Okay, there's the drop shadow there. And boom. So if you wanted to, um, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to roll this up here. And let's say if I wanted to put a background, I have some backgrounds already in my image library, so... I'm going to go to image library and I'm going to go to the background for my squeeze pages, grab a little bit of money. Okay, I'm going to just copy what I want, one area I think I'm going to use. This is a pretty big file, you can see this, 1366 by 1024. Um, and I'm going to go here and I'm just going to paste it. Um, you can see that it just covered everything, not to worry, don't panic like I used to. Um, what you do is you just take this layer and you just drag and drop it down to like almost near the bottom. Um, and you can see that now it got put behind everything else and you're pretty much good to go. Then I can still take that same layer and free transform it to make it a lot. You can see like this is huge. So what I can do is just slide down um, okay what I could also do okay that's kind of what I want what I could also do is I could put some paint on top of this and change the opacity so um, let's say let's say if I make a new layer and I'm going to add some gray paint on top of this, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, so now that's covering the the money, but what I could do is I can just click this, this whatever toggle, I guess it's called. You click that, and then you have the opacity. It's up to 100%. Now you just bring this down, and voila, now the, the background isn't so prominent, okay? So that's another cool trick you just learned for hanging out. And then I could put I can put the word exposed 
Let's go to like an aerial of some type. Aerial bold is good. And obviously I'm going to change the color. I'm going to do like some kind of yellow. I think that makes it. It's exposed. Uh, I don't think I need to put any type of. Ah, yeah, let's. I think that looks a little better. Okay, so um, that is pretty much the five YouTube um, lead gen secrets exposed. No, sir. <laughs> it's actually um, how to uh, create cool image um, or, sorry, cool text effects using uh, Pixlr. And if you want, I also have some other videos on, um, here, let me just put the URL right here for you. You're going to get dannyforts.com forward slash, let's go, 5-yt-secrets. And here's what I'm going to do. Let's change this to a... Let's change this to a red, that that kind of red. I know I gotta obviously make this a lot smaller. And I will mm. Ah, there we go. Hansy's pen or whatever it's called. I like that particular one for some reason. Okay, so dannyforts.com. Uh, forward slash five dash yt dash secrets um, if you like this video please like it also leave a comment especially if you want to see um, other YouTube videos I think I'm gonna go change that to yellow because it's not popping out as much as I would like for you to actually see so boom all right that's fine um, I'm already I'm over it I'm over it I'm over it Sometimes the perfectionist in me can. Okay. So, um, yeah. So like the video, please comment below. Um, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And then if you want these other videos, um, I literally made um, one, two, three. I believe there's three, if not four videos on this. There's three bonus um uh, uh, secrets as well. So you have the five to lead generation secrets, and then you have a bunch of other ones. So again, my name is Danny Forts with the Rejection Fee Formula. Take care, have a fantastic day, and thanks for watching.